Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're gonna be dyeing my hair blue. If you've not seen the previous video of me trying to remove this Eero Eero pink, I will leave a link to that video right up here in case you wanna go watch that. It was not successful. It did fade it a little bit, but it's still super, super neon and vibrant but my ends are now a platinum blonde shade. So now I'm like, what do I do with this? So I decided to dye my hair instead of trying a bleach based color remover on it. I just figured let's do blue. Oh my gosh, I almost just spilled that whole bowl. My heart. So I asked my husband to choose a color and he said, let's do blue. So I'm down for blue. Um, I love blue. I have never had all blue hair before, so we're gonna try it today. And it's gonna look really cool going over this pink, so I'm gonna have like purpley roots going into blue on my ends. I'm really excited about this. I think it's gonna look really cool with this current hair situation. Also, I do have some blue left over from that rainbow piece, so it's gonna tie in nicely. For the blue color, I just mixed these two together, Splat Naturals Teal and Blue. I did mostly blue with a little bit of teal and I did add some conditioner in there to dilute it. I can't dilute it too much because I do need it to go over this pink and turn it blue. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this all over at the same time. I'm hoping that it's dark enough to cover up this pink. I didn't wanna do a really, really dark blue and I also couldn't add too much conditioner. So I feel like this is a good in-between balance. I guess we'll find out when I go to rinse it. I didn't add very much conditioner. I just diluted it a little bit. These Splat Natural colors already have a pretty heavy conditioning base to them. So they're easy to get out of your hair. I thought about doing pink and just doing like putting a lighter pink over everything, but I don't want to keep reinforcing the pink. You know what I'm saying? If I just keep putting pink over pink over pink, it's never gonna go away and it's just gonna make it wanna stay. So I figured doing blue would be really cool. I love blue, it's like one of my favorite colors. And also I added that teal in there because it has a greenish undertone so it will help me cancel out some of this pink as this blue fades out. I want to start steering away from the pink because I know it's going to probably be there for a long time. So I'm trying to cancel it out and cover it up. And I thought that this was a good option. I was either thinking about doing purple or blue and my husband said blue. So I think that was a good choice. If we were to do purple, it would have been like a pinkish purple over the root and then the ends would have been super purple. And now I think this is gonna look really cool with the purple roots and the blue on the ends. It's like I'm having ombre hair and I don't even have to work hard at creating it, you know, since I have this leftover color up here. I'm excited to see how this is gonna fade since I have this pink under here. I wouldn't be surprised at all after I swim a few times if the pink just shows right through. It's fine if the pink comes back, I just don't want it to be this vibrant pink, you know? I'm good with working with the pink, but it's still really neon right now, so I'm hoping this kind of mutes it down a little bit. I honestly didn't really mind the pink roots with the blonde ends. You know, strawberry shortcake vibes but I also love to experiment with my hair and because it is summertime, I'm able to do more with my hair and I don't have to worry about how I'm gonna remove it in the future. Swimming normally does the trick. Even though this pink is still going to be underneath the blue, I'm gonna continuously be swimming. And you know, honestly, out of everything I've done to try and remove the Eero Eero pink, swimming has removed it the most. So if you do use that pink, and you cannot get it out, I would recommend swimming a bunch because that's what's helped remove mine out of everything I've ever tried. I'm not gonna get a mirror and set up to see the back of my head because I'm just doing one color all over. I'm just gonna feel around and I am trying to aim at covering these roots first because I don't know how much color I'm gonna have and I wanna make sure I at least cover up the root area. So I'm trying to aim for the pink areas get those covered up. And then I can always mix up a lighter shade to put on my ends since they're so blonde, but I just wanna make sure 
and get that pink covered with this darker blue first. When I bought Eero Eero Pink, I knew how hard it was to remove. I knew it was gonna be a pain, and I knew it probably wasn't gonna come out of my hair unless I did bleach it or do something like that. So when I bought the Eero Eero Pink, I went ahead and grabbed an Apogee treatment which I've used in the past as like a repairing protein treatment for severely damaged hair because I figured I was gonna have to use bleach on it at some point. So I do have that treatment sitting in my collection waiting to be used. So we'll see how this fades. If this fades and that pink is still super vibrant, I might go ahead and do a bleach bath or some type of color remover to try and fade it a little bit. If I can get that pink to like a very light, bubblegum pastel shade i can work with it and i can still do like rainbow pastels with like a pink root but right now it's just so shockingly pink still i'm a little worried that this might not even cover it to be honest with you because as i'm applying it it doesn't look like the color's taking very well i'm trying to work it in there but it doesn't really look like it's taking it made me a little nervous actually It'll look dope no matter what. Even if this blue doesn't cover up some of this pink and there's still some pink strands in here, bruh, it's still gonna look cool. We're gonna have like pink, purple, blue hair. We're probably gonna have like some galaxy hair, some unintentional galaxy hair, which I love. Dude, dyeing your hair is so much fun. I love stuff like this. It makes me so happy just to like experiment and you know, see what happens. That's the best thing about playing with with semi-permanent color. It's not permanent. Unless it's Eero Eero Neon Pink, then it's permanent. <laughs> one of you guys asked me if I contacted the 1-800 number and asked them, how do I remove this pink color? But something tells me they wouldn't be very helpful in that department, and they would probably just tell me to like let it fade out naturally, which it doesn't fade out naturally. I honestly feel bad for people who use it and don't know how bad it stains your hair. I'm sure some people use it and it's like, oh, this is gonna be fun for a couple months and then it'll fade back out to my blonde color and then they're stuck with it and they're like, what the hell? I wouldn't mind doing a bleach-based color remover like in a couple weeks, but I want to give my hair a little bit of a break and I also want to play with it and see what happens without resorting to that. I don't just want to jump directly into bleaching my hair or using something that's gonna damage it. I'd rather, you know, do this, play around with it, see what happens, swim some more and see what kind of result I get. In a few weeks, I might still just bleach like down to here to try and lighten it a little bit. I do have that repairing treatment, so it will be fine if I decide to do that. I did run out of color. This is all I have left. So I am going to have to remix some color. I might dilute it a little bit more because my ends are blonde. So I might mix up just the same color with some more conditioner, or I could do straight teal on my ends. How do we feel about that? I wish I could get your guys' opinions right now. I feel like that would be kind of sick. It'd be kind of like mermaid hair, right? If I did teal instead of blue. I mean, I have to mix up color anyway, you know? So why not mix up something that's a little bit different but would still go good with this color family? Okay, here is it diluted with conditioner and to be honest, it looks just like a blue color. <laughs> It doesn't really look that much different than what I have on my hair right now. So I'm gonna add some yellow to make it more teal. I have some of this citrine yellow from Lunar Tides. I'm just gonna add a splash in there to make it more teal. I'm not gonna add very much. I'm just gonna add like a little dollop. Okay, two dollops. Ooh, I love this. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is gonna be such a cool color combo. You guys, look how beautiful this green is. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how dark that splat natural teal was, but it's very, very, very dark. I should have added less of it, but it's fine. Okay, here is my teal shade. I think this is gonna go really, really well with this and it's all gonna blend in. So I'm gonna overlap everything, apply this on the ends and I'm gonna work my way up into the blue and kind of merge everything together. <gasps> you guys, look how cool this looks. This literally looks just like mermaid hair. I'm living for this. I hope it turns out good. 
Ooh, that's very, very teal. Wowzas. Maybe I should have went for more blue and less teal. I'm starting to regret my decision. I don't think I should have went teal. I think I should have just stayed the chorus of the blue, but a little late now. I have a bowl full of teal in front of me and I don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to keep using it even if I think it's a bad idea. It'll all turn out fine, right guys? Yeah, it's going to be fine. Everything's gonna work out well. So here's what we've got so far. It does look very galaxy. Galaxy mermaid-esque. I think I didn't like it so much on this side because I still have a lot of that brassy blonde over here. So it's gonna look different on this side than it will on this side. It's probably gonna look a little bit more green over here because I do have that orangey brassy color. Whereas this side is pretty platinum white. Ooh, I love that. This is so pretty. I love this. This is such a good idea. Go me. Wow, you guys. I love this. Oh my gosh. Impulsive decisions are the best. Are the best. If you ever are thinking about impulsively dyeing your hair, definitely do it. I was definitely second guessing my decision on this emerald color, but I'm very, very pleased with my decision right now. Is this an emerald? I don't know. I feel like it's an emerald color. That's what I'm gonna call it. Maybe emerald has more green and this is more teal. Wow, I feel like an alien. All right, we've got the color completely saturated and applied. I'm gonna let this sit anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. I don't wanna leave it on a super long time because I'm not expecting this color to last. I'm not trying to preserve it and keep it for a long time. So I'm only gonna leave it on the recommended like 20, 30 minutes. Rinse using cold water, no shampoo, no conditioner, and I'll be back once my hair is dried and styled to show you what this looks like. Oh my God, I am living for this color right now. Look at this, I am the ocean. I am the waves. I love this. Okay, I'll see you guys once this is processed. Okay, I am back and here is how my hair turned out. Look at this gorgeousness. I feel like the ocean, the waves, it's a mermaid, it's alien. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed with these colors. I'm really, really glad I decided to switch it up and use a different color on my ends. It just like amplifies all the different tones we have and makes it more of that like mermaid color. It's so pretty. I love these shades so much. You can see up and through here, I do have some of that Eero Eero pink peeking through here. And I'm actually pretty surprised that my roots aren't more purple. Like this was still very neon pink and my roots aren't purple at all. They're just straight blue, which is fine. It still goes really well into this color melt. There's so much dimension and so many colors running through my hair. I love how this turned out. It's so pretty. Also, I'm very impressed at how good my hair feels. Like I just treat my hair so badly and it still feels so soft and shiny. I think that splat color really did some repairing while it was sitting in my hair because it feels so soft and it also helped to get rid of some of the color oops smell that I had left in my hair. It's not as strong as it was before. This hairstyle is going to be so cute with some little space buns. So I just put it in some cute little messy buns and look how adorable this is. This color looks so cute and I just feel very aquatic. Like, oh, I love this color combo. It's gorgeous. I love the ombre and the depth I have at the root. And then it goes into this beautiful aqua shade. And I like these peaks of pink that are popping through. I'm so curious to see when this fades, if that pink is gonna shine through as bright as it was, or if it's going to be muted down quite a bit by the teal and the blue that I put over the top. Let me turn around and show you what the back looks like. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We love impulsive decisions and impulsive hair dyeing. It always turns out so good. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. And if you were to follow me on my Instagram, you would have already seen this hair color the day I did it. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys.
Stay weird. Goodbye. Uh -huh.